Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve multi-step equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, let's have a review first what is meant by the word equation. Equation is a statement that simply implies that the two given expressions are equal and equation uses the symbol of equal sign. So basically, I have here two equations and later on, I will give you more examples for us to deal more with solving multi-step equations. In number one, we have here 4x plus 7 is equal to 51. This one is basically an example of an equation. In number two, you have 6x plus 8 is equal to x minus 12. And number two is also an example of linear equation. So as you can see, guys, this one or these two examples are examples of linear equations because the degree of the given equations is equal to 1. Or in other words, the highest exponent of the variable is equal to 1. So let's have number 1. 4x plus 7 is equal to 51. So how to solve that equation? Basically, you need to remind yourself that in solving equations or in simplifying equations, you need to combine like terms. Here, we have 7 and 51 as like terms because these two numbers are considered constants. So basically, we need to remove 7 here on the left side of the equation and transfer it here to the other side of the equation. So what we will do here is we will copy 4x plus 7 and I will subtract 7 is equal to 51 minus 7. So basically, as you can see, I have subtracted 7 both sides of the equation. The reason is simple. If we have 7 minus 7, it will become 0. It will disappear on the left side of the equation and it will transfer to the other side of the equation. And sir, why do you need to subtract 7 on the other side of the equation? Simple, because we need to make it balance. Kung ano ginawa ko sa left side, ganun din yung ko sa right side to make it balance. So you have 7 minus 7 is 0. So we have here 4x is equal to, this is 44. And our target here is to solve for the value of x. Meaning, we need to eliminate 4. Sir, how? By dividing both sides by 4. Cancel and cancel. Or 4 divided by 4 is simply 1. And that will give us x is equal to 44 divided by 4 is 11. Now, I will give you another uh, extra way on how to check whether your answer is correct. Aside from solving correctly or precisely, you can do checking. By checking, we will check if the answer is correct by substituting this variable x to the original equation. So you have 4x plus 7 is equal to 51. So we will replace x as 11. That is 4 times 11 plus 7 is equal to 51. And simplifying this, this will give us the 44 plus 7 is equal to 51. And basically, 44 plus 7 is 51. And this is also 51. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal. Therefore, 11 as the value of x is correct. So let's move on with item number 2. So you have 6x plus 8 is equal to x minus 12. So first thing you need to do is to analyze the given equation. As you can see, these are the common terms. And we have variables on the left side and right side of the equation. So what do I need to do here is I will transfer it here to the other side of the equation. So basically, I will subtract x both sides of the equation. So you have 6x minus x plus 8 is equal to x minus x minus 12. Because if you have x minus x, that is 0. Simplify this. This will give us 5x because this is 5x 
plus a is equal to negative 12. And as you can see, this one is like the other equation. We can we need to combine 8 and negative 12. So I will just subtract both sides of the equation by 8. You have 5x plus 8 minus 8 is equal to negative 12 minus 8 because I need to make it balance. So this is 8 minus 8, 0. You have 5x is equal to this negative 20. So I need to divide both sides of the equation by 5. Cancel, cancel. And your x is equal to negative 4. This is the value of x in example number 2. But as what I'm saying, we need to check whether our answer is correct. So I have here x is equal to negative 4 and using this equation I will replace the variable x as negative 4 you have 6 sorry 6 times negative 4 plus 8 again I replaced x by negative 4 is equal to your x which is negative 4 minus 12 and this is negative 24 plus 8 is equal to negative 16 and subtracting 24 negative 24 uh, adding 24 uh, 8 by 20 negative 24 that will give you negative 16 that is equal to negative 16 so as you can see are they equal yes they are equal therefore the answer or the value of x as negative 4 is correct so as you can see this one is not that hard to solve because if you if you follow or if you solve it accurately and step by step process on how to solve multi-step equations you can do it right right so in the next part of our video i'll be giving you another example wherein you will practice solving so let's have example number three and number four for this topic so we have here two times the quantity of x plus 10 is equal to four times the quantity of x minus 15. as you can see we have here parentheses and first thing you need to do is to eliminate those parentheses by using distributive property. So basically you divide, you need to multiply 2 by x, that is 2x, and 2 times 10, that will give you plus 20, is equal to 4 times x, that is 4x, and then 4 times negative 15, that is negative 60. So what we will do here is to combine like terms. First, I will combine 2x and 4x. So I will subtract, I will remove 2x here because 4x is bigger than 2x. So I will have 2x minus 2x plus 20 is equal to 4x minus 2x because we have subtracted 2x here. So we need to do it, to do the same here, minus 60. So this is 0, we have 20 is equal to 2x minus 60. Next thing I need to do is to combine negative 60 and 20. So basically I will remove negative 60 here. So I will add 60 both sides of the equation. That is 20 plus 60 is equal to 2x minus 60 plus 60. And we know that this will become 0. So you have 2x is equal to 80. So to solve this, divide both sides by 2. Cancel, cancel, your x is equal to 40. So again, what I've told you is we need to do the checking. I hope that our space is enough. This is 40. We have 2 times this is 40 plus 10 is equal to 4 times 40 minus 15. Add this, 2 times 50 is equal to 4 times 25. And this is 2 times 50, that will give you 100, is equal to 4 times 25, that is also 100. And as you can see, this is, or 100 is equal to 100, meaning x is equal to 40. Let's move on to item number 4. Item number four is quite difficult for some because we have your fraction. So what do we need to do? 
is to remove the difficulty. And that is to eliminate the fraction. So basically, I will multiply the whole equation by 4. So you have 2x multiplied by 4 plus 3x, a uh, 3 over 4 is equal to 6. And then I will also multiply it by 4. So 2 times 2x by distributed property, you have 8x plus 4 times 3 over 4, that is 3. Sir, why 3? If you have 4 times 3 over 4, basically that is 12 over 4. And 12 over 4, it, that will give you the answer of 3. That's why I have here 3 as my answer. Or simply, I have cancelled 4 and 4. And this one, you have 6 times 4, or 4 times 6, that will give you 24. And what will I, what will I do next? is to combine 3 and 24, so I will subtract both sides of the equation by 3. You have 8x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 24 minus 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0, that will give us 8 is equal to 21. And divide both sides by 8, x is equal to 21 over 8. This is the answer for item number 4. So. I will not check our answer here because our space is not enough for us to check anymore. But I will assure you that this, the answers here are correct. So I hope that you learned something from this video on how to calculate for multi-step equations or specifically how to solve multi-step linear equations. So if you have any question or any suggested topic that you want to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below in our comment section. So again, if you're into to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell button for you to be updated setting latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.